All right, welcome back to the Crypto ZX channel to each and every one of you guys. I appreciate you from the bottom of my heart for you know continuing to support me. If you've been here since I started the channel, if you joined yesterday, if you joined today, you all you know um, are very special to me. So you know I really really appreciate your support. No, but you know, I just want to take this moment, especially for the Solana updates, to really shout out my you know OG viewers, especially during the most uncertain uh, phase that we went through, especially in the bear market cycle. And the people that stuck with me around then, you know, you guys are the real deal. Now, you know, in terms of you know strength, confidence, because let's face it, guys, that time. Whether it's Solana, because of course this update is about Solana, and Solana is killing it, but you know. You could pretty much look at it for any asset at that prime point, right? Um, the amount of uncertainty was insanely, like through the roof. But there were small people that understand what cryptocurrency is all about, understand the risks, understand what you need to do. Uh, the ones that took advantage of that time, you know, literally fast forward a year later, are literally sitting at gold mines. Um, and, you know, the last two days were insane for me and i'm gonna make a separate i'm not gonna talk anything about that i'll make a separate update for you guys that's why i kind of ended up taking a break but you know if we're looking at solana it's up 8.1 percent on the daily time frame as well as the entire market you guys can see it's just speaking about solana you can see it's up 8.1 percent you know with token up 20.4 percent render up 17.2 percent what is this telling us these are sole projects and of course pipe 7.9 you get the idea as to what we're discussing so let's uh, continue um if we're looking at the price guys i cannot believe my eyes so of course since the price did break above 200 dollars, i wasn't able to make an update for you guys but you know we're back we're back on schedule we decided to take a little bit of a break as i said kind of to refresh myself and just you know just overwhelmed with um you know what's um happening recently but um, if we're looking at the price 273 cents 200 dollars and 73 cents up 8.8 percent .8 in usd comparative it's also up six percent in bitcoin comparative over the past 24 hours but now if we're looking at its market cap 88.1 billion dollars with the 24 hour trading volume through the roof at 11.1 .1 billion insane stuff so as you guys know we did see a massive flush over the weekend and coincidentally i had literally said this right before this happened you know when we were uh retesting all-time highs for bitcoin i was like guys let's get prepared you know possibly end of this month or early next month we could see a flush because you know the market is just looking too bullish but you know we decided to see this flush um you know happen way before um i was expecting maybe two three weeks earlier but i think that's a good thing uh, because i think now that the flush is out of the way i think we will see the market balancing leading up to those uh dates that i am expecting for the market to kind of cool off then but uh let's step further uh, before i do that as always just a quick disclaimer anything on this channel is not financial advice always do your own due diligence and research when you are investing in cryptocurrencies i'm really really excited so you know apologies if you think i'm speaking too fast just bear with me guys you know have your um captions on if you need to but um you know i want to start off actually with this so 10 hours ago one of my viewers left me this comment and i literally just saw it because of course you know I, like i said i decided to kind of take a day off but let's kind of go over this comment because this meant the world to me so you could pretty much see it says i just want to say thank you i held on uh, to solana throughout the bear market thanks to you listening to you every single day when everybody was telling me it was going to zero telling me to sell and i didn't listen i got stuck with you because i believed in you today thanks to you i was able to sell paid off all my debts and profiting hundred thousand dollars uh, thank you brother i hope one day i can thank you in person you are the best Juan. you know shout out to Juan. really really appreciate uh, you for sticking around you know this means the world to me like and i'm so happy and proud of what you were able to do at the end of the day you know i'm just a guy just like you guys you know i'm just like you guys i've been in the space um you know for about eight years super passionate about the space and you know did so much research like literally day in day out guys this is not something you know that i just got started on yesterday i did you know my research day in day out you know learn from so many mistakes and you know got to the point where you know finally starting to um you really get paid off by that so you know appreciate you guys for sticking around shout out to all the ogs especially the newcomers and everyone all you guys i love you all um you know let's get to the hundred thousand subscribers because of course that is a huge goal of mine and i need each and every one of you guys to join the ship so we can get there so if we're looking at 
you know, this shout out to Solana floor. It says breaking Solana overtakes Ethereum and global Google search interest. And again, you know, I'm going to talk about this a little bit more as I, uh, you know, we go further. So you can see Solana reaches peak worldwide on Google search interest hitting an all time high. Again, not a surprise. You know, we're seeing Sol being trending. You know, we're seeing um, you know, meme coin, which was Boom, you know, Boomy or Boom or whatever you want to call it, that launched just four or five days ago that exploded, you know, changed people's lives. And, um, you know, that is bringing that, let alone just that one specific thing as well, is bringing more attention than ever towards Solana, believe it or not. Um, you know, that's not a single factor, but, you know, definitely is a huge reason as to why we've seen so much spike recently because everyone wants to know, whole, like, people are holy smokes, like, this is insane soul meme coins are exploding and literally go back you know a few months ago you know when soul was sitting at like 20 30 bucks i was thinking we're gonna see a huge um you know nft boom we're gonna see a huge um you know spl token boom and look where we are at now insane insane times but let's continue so you can see this for yourself solana flips ethereum and every other chain in 24 hour decentralized trading volume wow again not a surprise at all and on top of that you know just two days ago you can see this for yourself 1.44 million active wallets interacted with solana ecosystem so pretty much you're seeing positive after positive news and now you know if you're looking at the native token um you know it's sitting at 23.6 fib zone even though we did see that flush solana doesn't seem to care right now which just tells you where Solana is heading in the next few days to come. But now if we're looking at BTC dominance, right? Like, you know, I'm sure, I'm sure um, you know, people that are holding Solana don't really care about Bitcoin dominance, but we're still going to quickly, briefly go over it because obviously, you know, this is something I really, really focus on. So you can see this for yourself, 53.58%. Not much has changed for the dominance despite a flush. Uh, but you know, if you're looking at BTC, you know, we did see that flush, of course, you know, um, over the weekend, went, going all the way down to 64K. But, you know, the market is definitely picking up. And I think now leading to the end of the month and, you know, especially maybe the first few days of April, I think we could see the market bouncing back up. That's how I am currently taking a look at the overall market right now. Obviously, this week is going to be really interesting and especially tomorrow morning, how Bitcoin reacts. But I'm confident that, you know, we will see a bounce uh, within the markets now, you know, that we have seen a flush over the past few days. Now, let's take a look at Sol. Good old friend Solana. Wow. Like this right here is a thing of beauty. What you're looking at. This right here is a thing of beauty. And what you're seeing Sol doing is, you know, let me zoom in. You're seeing Solana sitting nice and pretty above the 23.6 Fibonacci retra retracement level. And look where we topped out 205.50. Now you guys might be like, who cares about that 205? Why are we not going to all time highs? But look at that. Why, the reason as to why I'm trying to show you guys this two, two point, um, sorry, $205 is a resistance that kind of dates back to December 29th. You can pretty much see this for yourself. You know, when the bear market, bear market pretty much started, you know, we did see one last retest. Um, you know, to the 23.6 zone, but then, you know, I never managed to actually stay above there. And, you know, obviously then the bear market started, but what you're looking at is Seoul is breaking records. And speaking about breaking records, let's kind of go back to, um, you know, our discussion. You know, I was kind of indicating and showing that even though, you know, we did see that flush um, back on March 6th, I said, you know, we're still in an upwards trend for Solana. And, you know, the uh, chart is telling you, you know, sometimes the chart just speaks to you. The trend is your friend. And look at this. You know, the amount of comments that I was receiving around here saying, you know, Seoul is going to go down to like 50 bucks uh, was insane. You know, a lot of negative comments. But I'm sure those people are nowhere to be seen right now. They are completely shocked at the fact that what Seoul is able to pull off. And look at the importance of this, um, you know, resistance. You know, this level breaking out. We, as soon as we got into, um, you know, the 38.2 Fibonacci retracement level, Solana just shot past this whole zone all the way into the 23.6. And this is exactly what I was anticipating. And you can pretty much see this for yourself. We saw Sol literally fly um, right after this resistance broke. And, you know, if you want to put this move into perspective, about a 24% move. And now, guys, let's have discussions about all-time highs because I think we're getting very close. If you want to put this move into perspective, the next key resistance is at a, a uh, $216.46. Um, obviously, that is a key resistance. If this is able to break out, I think all-time highs is in play, which is only a move of about 30% 
from the current price levels. So, you know, of course, um, obviously we did see Seoul um, closing its daily candle around this zone in the 23.6. And obviously, you know, as we start off this week, um, if we're able to continue seeing Solana, you know, what I would love to see is Solana actually pushing up to $216 um, as long as Bitcoin uh, <laughs> does that as well. But, you know, if this is able to happen, I'm very confident that you know, we could see an all time high you know, really fast before the month of end, um, I'm sorry, before the month of March even comes to an end. And um, in terms of total value locked, you know, we are sitting at for Solana $4 billion, which means about $2 billion has, you know, flown into the markets, uh, I'm sorry, flown into the ecosystem of Solana in just a matter of one month. Let that sink in. Insane stuff happening. But that is it for today's update. Love each and every one of you guys. You know what a time to be alive. Appreciate each and every one of you guys for sticking around um, and, you know, showing so much support. Um, if you're new, smash that like button and share your share the video. And with that being said, I will see you tomorrow. It's been CryptoZX and peace out.